Birds of a feather flock together. Birds of prey pray together backstage. Ellen DeGeneres is reportedly pissed that people have come forward and wants out of the show as soon as possible. The 62-year-old comedian and TV host reportedly wants out of her very own talk show after recent claims made against her and her production staff have repeatedly gone viral and landed with a very captive, interested audience. Now it seems she is ready to just throw in the towel and walk away from it all. Speaking to Us Weekly on Sunday about the matter, an insider revealed some shocking claims about how Ellen was more than ready to end the show altogether, walk away at this point. Knowing how popular her daytime talk show has been for years, that is a shocking development. But to hear the insider tell it, it's been a long time in the coming. The source opened up saying Ellen had a target on her back. Dozens of former Ellen Show employees say executive producers engaged in rampant sexual misconduct and harassment. Ex-employees said one executive producer had a reputation for being handsy with women and that another solicited oral sex at a work party. Being asked to join the control room inside Ellen DeGeneres' show is a coveted spot in Hollywood. But according to dozens of men and women who work behind the scenes, the office is a place where sexual harassment and misconduct by top executive producers run rampant. One ex-employee said head writer and executive producer Kevin Lehman asked him if he could give him a hand job or perform oral sex in the bathroom at a company party in 2013. Another said they separately saw Lehman grab a pr production assistant's penis. In May 2017, another former employee also said she saw Lehman grope a production agent a assistant in a car and kiss his neck. Nearly a dozen former employees who range from long term long time senior level employees to production assistants said it was also common for Lehman to make sexually explicit comments in the office, like pointing out a male colleague's bulge bulge in their crotch or ask them questions like, are you a top or a bottom? It's mass sarcasm, but it's not sarcasm, a former employee said. Many of the Target's employees added were low-level, younger employees who felt they lacked the power to speak up. He'd probably do it in front of 10 people and they'd laugh because it's just Kevin being Kevin. But in your in a position of power at a company, you don't just touch me like that. A former employee said, "I started at the Ellen Show as a PA more than 17 years ago, and had devoted my career to work my way to the position I hold now. While my job as a head writer is to come up with jokes." And during that process, we can occasionally push the envelope. I'm horrified that some of my attempts at humor may have caused offense, he said. I have always aimed to treat everyone on the same staff with kindness, on the staff with kindness and respect. And the whole time at the show, to my knowledge, I've never had an HR or an interpersonal complaint made about me, and I am devastated beyond belief that this kind of malicious and misleading article could be published. Now, my thoughts on this is just like I said, birds of a feather flock together. It seems like every one of them from the top Hollywood face like Ellen to her producer, her executive producer, her probably her right hand assistant, 
all of them are doing the same things. All of it. They're, they're all, you know, going to these parties. Now, some of these parties are, you know, not gonna, they're not gonna show their true selves at the regular party where you see everything going on. You know, not most of the time. It's usually these after parties where they know that they can get away with this stuff because the people they invited to this after party is cool with it. See, so some of them got a little carried away and was doing some of this stuff at uh, the regular parties. And that's what's starting to come out. And what we're soon going to find out is what's going on behind these closed doors and these basements and, and these second little behind these hidden bookshelves, you know, little secret bookshelves was hidden behind there in this locked door. And, you know, we're going to find out all this stuff hopefully soon. But right now, look at look at what's going on in the news. They, these people are being busted for sexual harassment, misconduct, trying to, you know, I mean, that, that was a man asking other men for sex, you know, could he do sexual favors to them? And they work together. You know, that's Hollywood right there. TV, television is a part of Hollywood. They're, they're all working together. They all do the same things. They all hang out with each other and go to the same parties. So I'm telling you right now, when the dots connect, if one of them's doing it, their friend's doing it. If their friend's doing it, their friend's doing it. Their dad might have did it. Their, you know, their cousin, or, you know, it might not go through their family, but their, their friends that are working together in these uh, shows, they're, they're doing these things. You know, but the dots will start being connected. Oh, Ellen Degenerate. But I thank you for watching. Uh, if you will, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.